people reclaimed and found the materials. I was a former bookbinder and I just brought it out into the uh, crafting world. Probably about 20 years. This craft fair, I'm not sure how long I've been coming. I think I've been coming between 12 and 15. I can't be any more specific than that. Getting to watch people see my stuff for the first time or finding the item that just makes their hearts sing. They look at it and they're like, oh, that's it, I gotta have it. That is the moment. Or when people just look at my stuff and go, wow. I do this mostly by myself in isolation. So when I get to see somebody's reaction to it, it makes, it makes the world for me. I can't really answer that because usually I make them in batches. If I were to break it down, say about 10 of the little, the wee books there, which you might see later, um, that will take me about an hour and a half, two hours. Some of it's prep work because I, you know, it's preparing the materials and the fabrics. Um, some stuff has to dry overnight. So I can't give a solid answer to that, but I will admit that's because of my former job, I can knock them out pretty quickly sometimes. It's the creativity part that takes a while. Coming up with the idea, or having the idea, and it's like, how do I make this happen? I can see it. I can see it in my mind's eye. How do I make it happen? It's something that's from the heart. If, when you come to a craft fair, at the least, slow down, take a look at people's stuff, because that's what people really need, is to have their stuff be seen. You know, acknowledge the artist even if you're not into the art.